Hi, welcome to I've Had Worse, and today we're trying Grolsch. Um, I used to love this beer when I was a student. Um, you know, it had the flip top, uh, like a ceramic topper with a with a wire basket, which is pretty groovy, pretty trendy. Um, and I'd be looking everywhere for the flip top, and you go to the website and they show that. And then I've got a can. And then to add insult to injury, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's got a picture of a bottle with a flip top, but it's a can. I mean, they do give you a sort of little red tab. So this is a Pilsner style beer um, or a Pilsner style lager. Um, and I haven't had it for a while. Let's give it a go. I'm waffling now. So this is a 5% uh, and this is a 500ml can. I just wish I could have, uh, you know, got it in glass because the bottles were fantastic. Uh, I think there was many a home brew guy, and I, when I moved out into the country, I tried to brew nettle beer, um, which was an interesting experiment. Um, and those flip top bottles came in real handy. Okay, so we'll make do with a picture. So we have crystal clear. A lot of carbonation rising up there. The head of it appears sort of quite tight. It's not quite sticking to the glass. I mean, the colour is like a deep amber. Okay. Okay, that's really refreshing on the nose. A bit of lemon. A bit of white pepper and then some malts there. Sort of, yeah, nice sort of multi. Mm, okay, cheers. So that's a nice level of carbonation. It's not carbonation is one of those things that's really difficult to get right. You you want it to push the flavour around your mouth, but you don't want it really biting or not. Oh, I don't like it really biting, but it, it can help with uh, that refreshing feel. But, you know, it can be a bit gassy sometimes. So it's a difficult thing to get to the right levels, I think. So there is a malty taste there. It sort of just fades nicely. It's a lager style beer, so there's not a great deal of bitterness there. Those malts fading nicely. Okay. So it's quite a subtle flavour, but there is depth to it. I said a 5%. The higher the alcohol content, the more the flavour carries, or that's my theory. Um, so compared to some of the last sort of 4% lagers I've tried, uh, this does have a nice flavour. But is it much to shout about? There's no San Miguel. No, no, it's a slight... So, Mm. So this is, is very drinkable, it's very pleasant, but it's not a lot, a lot to shout about. Now I quite like some of the lagers that, that have a sweeter back edge, and this doesn't have that, which some people really like. I mean, you know, the sweetness in a lager, you know, some people really don't like. Um, the higher strengths, they tend to use like a corn uh, syrup um, and, you know, that, sort of that glucose uh, syrups. I don't know. And I don't know if it's added in the brewing to help ramp up um, the alcohol content or if it's added later to sort of get their signature flavour. But I quite like that. And I know a lot of people don't. Um, so this doesn't have that, which. Mm. What am I trying to say? This is a very good lager style beer. Will I be getting it again? 
I don't know. I think all that... Oh, pardon me. The nostalgia that I was thinking when I saw this was all around this flip-top bottle. Because at the time, it was unique. There was no other, uh, no other um, beers like it. Um, and, you know, you, pubs all over the place, you'd see guys... Because it wasn't on tap, uh, I don't think, then. Back, sort of... I can't remember it being on tap no. in the in the um, uh, 90s, early 90s. Um, so I think it was all, uh, you know, bottles, and you'd see guys drinking them in pubs, and it was really unusual. Um, but I think that was all sort of nostalgia and marketing, because... That really isn't anything uh, to write home about. Okay, I mean, when was the last time you had a Grolsch? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you thought of it. Uh, if you've had it recently, um, or you've gone back to it, it, you know, is it the beer you remember? Uh, this isn't the beer that I remember. Um, it's not bad. If you offered me one, I wouldn't be offended. Um, but uh, as lagers go, I've had better. Um, or shouldn't he say I've had ones that uh, I would rather have over this? There you go. Grosh. Nostalgia. It's not always what you think it's going to be. Cheers.